Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw, mga minamahal kong grade 9 students. Ang susunod na isosolve natin, number 2, a rectangle has a perimeter of 140 cm. Find the greatest possible area for the rectangle. So, medyo mahaba-haba yung solution nito ha. Yung perimeter daw ng rectangle is 140. Diba ang perimeter ng rectangle is 2 length plus to width. Yan yung formula niya. Ngayon, para ma-solve natin, mag-represent tayo ng variable as x and y. So, ang gagawin ko dito, let y is equal to width. So, papalitan natin ng y yung width. And then, let x is equal to length. Okay? Length. So, mapapalitan na ito ng perimeter is equal to 2. Ang length natin is y na plus 2 times ang width natin is, abaliktad, x pala to. x plus ang width natin is y. Nasundan ninyo? By substitution, di ba, ang perimeter natin is 140. So, that is 140 equals 2x plus 2y. Ngayon, simplify natin para maging x plus y lang siya. So, that is, divide natin sa 2. That is, 140 divided by 2 equals 70 equals 2x divided by 2 makakancel equals x. Then, 2y divided by 2 makakancel yung 2 that is equal to positive y. So, meron na tayong first equation na 70 equals x plus y. Ngayon, para ma-solve natin ito, gusto ko lang matira si x dito para ma-substitute natin sa ating equation. So, balikta rin muna natin. I-switch lang natin yung position para mas madaling isolve. x plus y is equal to 70. The same rin sila ha. Wala tayong pinalitan na sign. So, para makuha natin yung x, i-transpose natin si y sa kabila. Mag-change ng sign, magiging negative y na siya. So, ang value ng x is 70 minus y. Ngayon, Ang tinatanong dito is, what is the greatest possible area? Ibig sabihin, ang area natin is length times width, di ba? By substitution, area equals ang length natin. Alam natin na yung length natin is equal to x. Ang nakuha natin kanina is 70 minus y. Nasundan ninyo? So, ito magiging area is equal to x times y. So, yung x natin kanina is 70 minus y. So, isasubstitute lang natin dito. 70 minus y times y. Okay? Again, area is equal to x. Yung x natin galing dito. Times y. Then, distribute natin yung y dito. That is area equals y times 70 equals 70y. Then, y times negative y equals negative y squared. Kung mapapansin ninyo, quadratic function to. Ayusin muna natin. Unahin natin yung may quadratic term. Area is equal to negative y squared plus 70y. Ngayon, using the formula for vertex, di ba hk yan? Ito yung a natin. Ito yung b. At wala siyang c. So, Ang gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung x, gagamitin natin yung formula ng vertex. So, h is equal to negative b over 2a. By substitution, that is negative, ang b natin is 70 over 2 times ang a natin is negative 1. Simplify. Negative times 70 equals negative 70 over 2 times negative 1 equals negative 2. So, that is equal to 
negative 70 divided by negative 2 equals positive 35. Ibig sabihin, ang h or yung value ng x, ibig sabihin, ang h Since y yung ginamit natin dito, that is, this is the value of width. Ibig sabihin, eight, dito sa ginamit nating vertex, nire-represent natin dito yung width, that is y. So, ang width natin is 35. Pero, kapag 35 yung ating width, Ibig sabihin, ang magiging length din natin is 35 din. Kasi yung length natin is x, ba? Kaya, x equals 70 minus ang width natin, 35. That is equal to 35 din. E kapag 35 yung width, 35 din yung length, hindi na siya rectangle. Magiging square na siya. Width is 35. Ang gagawin natin, babawasan natin ito ng 1. Kasi, mas mahaba dapat yung length. Nagigets ninyo? So, 35 minus 1 is equal to 34. So, ito yung width natin. Again ha, bakit natin binawasan? Kasi, dapat yung length natin or yung x natin is mas mahaba siya. So, para maging mas maiksi ito, bawasan natin ng isa. Or, pwede rin namang yung length ang dadagdagan ninyo ng 1. Since problem solving ito, balikan natin yung equation ng x ng length. That is, x equals 70 minus y. So, x is equal to 70 minus ang y natin is 35. Or, 34 na pala. Kasi binawasan nga natin. So, x is equal to 70 minus 34. That is equal to 36. So, ang value ng Length natin is 36. Ang value naman ng width natin is 34. Ang dimensions natin is 36 and 34. Ngayon, ang tinatanong, what is the greatest possible area for the rectangle? So, balikan natin ito o. Oh, area is equal to x times y. So, area equals, ang x natin is 36 times ang y natin is 34 gets so yung x natin is 36 yung y natin is 34 or yung width natin so area multiply ninyo using your calculator 36 times 34 that is equal to 1224 so ang greatest possible area is 1224 centimeter square kasi centimeter yung unit natin okay therefore the greatest possible area is 1224 square centimeter so yun lamang kung nakatulong ito sa inyo please do like this video at magcomment rin kayo sa baba once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!